Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 and today we're going to be making a solar system completely out of water because you know what oxygen and hydrogen are quite light elements so since they're below the iron point we can make a star out of it and it also is dense enough to make planets so let's go ahead get started build a beautiful solar system and then call it a day. So we're going to start out a new simulation, not to mention our channel is basically all water-based. Everything on this darn channel has been water. I mean, let's be honest. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to set the water to actually go at zero meters per second. And we, there it is. What, where'd it go? I missed it. There it is, okay. This is going to be the core of our star. We are literally starting with these tiny, tiny particles tiny tiny particles of water but if we give them a little bit of time they should begin moving towards each other no okay they may be a little bit too small that's okay we'll give them something to coalesce around uh let's give them we're gonna have to start with you know a, a, a core just so that things start moving so let's do a random asteroid and turn it completely into water just so that we don't sit around forever. Bam, it is now completely water. Uh, Pultua. Pultua is going to be the core of our solar system. And the question is gonna be how much water do we have to add for, uh, well, the hydrogen to start fusing? And that, that's a good question. I don't really know the answer. Um, I am hopeful that it's not too long. So if we do this, we can now see that the mass isn't really changing. Um, what we should do is increase the mass. So let's increase the mass of these particles a bit. Okay, here we go. Now we're actually getting some good growth on the uh, current asteroid. It's, it's now like doubled in size, but we need to feed it faster. Let's, let's do more. Here we go. Okay, now now we're getting some really fast growth, and it's getting more and more spherical as the gravity gets stronger and the surface gets pulled in every direction, and now we've got a perfect oblate spheroid because it's not actually a perfect sphere because it's spinning, so the center gets bulged out a tiny bit. Okay, beautiful. So the mass is actually getting quite high now, so we're going to speed things up even. Oh, oh that's pretty fast. That is pretty darn fast. And now we've got a beautiful planet, I guess. I mean, it's smaller than the moon, but considering there's no other planets around, nobody can really judge its size. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now we're at like 3% of the moon, 4% of the moon. Uh, let's go crazy. Oh! Oh, darn. That... There is literally nothing except for water, but for some reason land is still showing. The water is fusing into new forms. Not really, it's just being a little bit dumb. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> I guess it doesn't consider water being on the entire surface, so it's not showing it on the entire surface. I broke the water physics. Okay, now it's 11, 12 times the size of the moon. Let's let's go a little bit in, insane. Okay, so now we're getting to many times the size of Earth three earths but how much how much water do you actually need to make a star oh god look at all the water that is just hasn't made it into this <laughs> all the water that did not survive wow it's all being pulled back a lot of it's actually getting absorbed a lot of it is not yikes that's quite a yikes moment Maybe it's because it's going at zero meters per second. If we do like 10, maybe it'll be less stupid. No, it just flies way behind it. It's always had this issue, honestly. Um, that's okay. Okay, it stopped growing. I, I've, I've really broken something. Just do a thousand. Just fire water. It, am I just, I'm firing it way too far now. Oh no. What have I done? I've broken the game. Let's try bigger particles. Let's try massive particles. One Earth-sized particles. 
No, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's save this into a new simulation. Pultua, I can remember that. I can make that. Let's do it. Okay. Pultua, P. P, not potato, Pultua. Potato planets are also beautiful, but that's not what we're trying to do right now. Okay, here we go. Material, we've got our water, which is basically earth, earth mass, and we throw it directly into this beautiful, beautiful lump of water. Now, at this point, the universe is 100% made of water. Nothing else exists. For some reason, the water is still going through it. Um, we're at 6.58 times the mass of Jupiter. So this is when we're really going to see some changes. Um, soon, it's going to begin heating up. Currently, it's absolute zero because there's literally nothing to heat it. Um, but we can do better. Let's go ahead and make this 121 Earths per particle. Oh! Oh, wow! It only took 200 Jupiters. There we go. Uh, the hydrogen in the water is now fusing into helium. The oxygen is probably just going to sit on the uh, in the center, kind of mixing it up a bit and making it less efficient. But we now have a beautiful, beautiful star. And we're going to feed it a little bit more, make it a little bit larger and stronger. There we go. Always make sure to eat a lot when you're a star. Otherwise, you'll uh, die pretty quickly. It's a very active star. It's a very young star, but it's going to work. So now let's add the basis for a planet. We're going to make a beautiful ocean planet that all the fish can live in. You need as much water as it takes to save Australia from a drought to make a star. <laughs> oh, geez. I don't think we have that much water. California's busy using all the water for their lawns. Yeah, let's go to the habitable map. Wait, where is habitable? Um, excuse me. Something's got to be habitable. Really? Nothing? Nothing. Really? Wow. Okay, it looks like this star needs to get... Why is the star's average surface temperature negative 273? That doesn't seem right to me. What What is up with this star? Okay, so if we increase the mass... Like... Will this help? Oh! Okay, that seems way too big. But now it's, it's two times the size of the sun now. Um... Come on, that, that's got to do something. There's got to be a habitable zone. Or does it just not know? Maybe it just doesn't know. That's weird. That's really odd. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a... I mean, I'm, I'm honestly very confused as to why it's not showing me. Oh, was it because that other thing was on? Oh, there we go. Okay, fantastic. It's showing me now. So Pultua has a habitable zone. It's right there. And we just have to make sure that we place our random asteroid within that. What is this guy going to be named? This guy's going to be named Anger. <laughs> it's going to be a very angry ball of water. So let's go ahead and set it to completely water. And then let's add some more water while we're at it. Hopefully, this spot it's at won't be frozen. Okay, let's make it like one Earth. It's going to be bigger than Earth, though, because the water isn't as dense as rock. Um, but will it warm up? That's the question. Question of the day. Okay, so we're speeding things up. Time exists. The temperature on this planet is raising a bit. This is like a fish's dream. A fish could swim through this entire planet. No, they couldn't because they'd get crushed at the center. It'd be quite bad, actually. Um, the center is probably very, very hot and has lots of issues. Like an angry supermodel. <laughs> um, looks like the average surface temperature is a little bit disappointing, but it's okay because we're going to give it a blanket, an atmosphere, to hold in some heat. So let's go ahead and set its... Where is 
No? Surface? Where? Oh, jeez. I lost this last time. Where is the atmosphere area? For playing this game so much, I should know where this stuff is. I mean, I guess I really only play it for YouTube, so... Maybe I don't actually play it that much, but I feel like at this point, but they just keep moving things. That's the thing. Average albedo. That's the reflectivity, which is going to be pretty high, actually, because it's water. But we're going to ignore that because that's not going to do what we want. Show water or CO2. Water. Beautiful. Um... I don't know, we don't really have an option for an atmosphere, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly really confused why the option's not there. Maybe because it started off as an asteroid. Here's anger just doing its thing. I guess we'll have to move it closer so that it doesn't like die horribly. We don't want it to be frozen. I mean, they've already made a second frozen. We can't we can't have a third one. That's just too many. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab it and move it a bit. I think the atmosphere is in composition. We'll check that out in a second. Just gonna move it closer still. Okay, uh zero is it in composition now? Composition. I don't I don't see it. Magnetosphere. Earth likelihood, surface gravity, mass slot. Yeah, no, it's it's literally not there. Oh, geez, that was almost a terrible mistake. I almost dropped it into the sun. I hate it when I do that. I hit zero velocity instead of hitting auto orbit. What a what a normal mistake to make. Ha ha ha. Man, I hate it when I'm playing God and I accidentally destroy everything. So the average surface temperature is quite small, uh, quite low. But that doesn't really matter in the end because a lot of the uh, water is still melted and I think the range is going to be pretty big in temperature. So it goes from, yeah, over here is about 15 degrees in the center, which is actually pretty good. And then it goes down to negative 50. So we, we can go a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer. And we don't really need an atmosphere for things to be able to survive in this because they can just survive in the water. The water will protect them from radiation and stuff. Um, at least I believe it'll be able to do it. I mean, water is much thicker than air. Okay, the average surface temperature is now jumping up. Hopefully none of it goes over 100, though, because if it, any of it goes over 100, that'll mean that the water is slowly evaporating away and the planet will just cease to exist. But it looks fine. Looks fine, although the water is in a vacuum, which may give us some issues, but it doesn't look like it's giving us issues. So we have a 100% water planet, which actually does have two continents, ice continents, but you know, something. And then that's orbiting a star, which is 100% made out of water. Inger orbiting Pultua. I really do wish I could get the atmosphere working though. Oh, oh, I have the option now. Look at that, was that always there? I don't think so. Anyways, we're going to do one Earth atmosphere. Actually, not mass. We're going to do pressure. We're going to give the same pressure as Earth. So surface pressure, we're going to do one atmosphere. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And now we can see, look at that. Completely water planet. It looks so happy. Imagine all the, there'd be so many cyanobacteria and stuff just on the surface. And maybe we can pretend that those things that we can see are that. Just growing on the surface of the water. A world where giant shark-like creatures are the smarties. Humans suck compared to that. Imagine, imagine the six-headed shark movie, except in real life. But as all things, this must come to an end. So, as has been requested by Space Cadet, we are going to go ahead and turn this sun into a black hole to create the water black hole that we've all been waiting for. I'm actually gonna save this first because this is kind of cool. Water system, nice. Okay, get, gonna, gonna do a save? Or is the game gonna crash? If the game crashes, I'll be kind of sad. Okay, saved. 
Let's do a check. Let's do a check. Okay. Ready? It's time to black hole yourself. It's probably just gonna do a supernova. Oh. Hmm. That was quite exciting. It's not gonna become a black hole, is it? It's just gonna go supernova. I, I have a bad feeling about that. Oh, it did just go supernova. Yikes, a water supernova. Actually, it's not water anymore because it's been fused into so many new elements by the supernova. Oh, the water planet's dead and now there's just a nova remnant. Is it a pulsar? I don't believe so. I believe it's just a normal remnant. Kind of boring, but you know, what can you do? Oh, it's a very excited and happy star. Looks like we're going to have to pump it full of mass a second time. Let's see if we can get it to do a second explosion. No, but it doesn't seem like... Um, maybe? No. Nope. Wow. We can make this a very heavy star without any reper... Oh! Oh, there's the repercussion. We have actually made a water black hole. But you look at that, guys. We've done it. We did it, Reddit. We did it once and for all. Let's just do a quick test with Pluto. I think Pluto died, so that's a good sign. Uh, where's a big star? We're infecting our beautiful land with non-water, but we have to figure it out. Oh, yes. Wait, you're supposed to orbit, darn it. What? Why are you just leaving? <laughs> that, that wasn't the point. The point was not for you to, like... What the heck? What is going on? <laughs> um, they're just like, I'm gonna head out. It auto orbit. No. No, they just don't like it. Nobody likes the water. Yeet. Okay, guys. Well, we've learned so much today. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. We reversed gravity. And I will see you all. What, what happens when a star gets thrown this quickly? What, what if we make this, if we make this one supernova, will it push those stars in the other direction or will they also supernova? Second, I'm, I'm curious. I'm supposed to end the video here, but like, sorry manager, I need to do this. I, I don't actually have a manager. I am my manager. I'm apologizing to myself because I will fire myself. Okay, so Beetlejuice is now like getting very thick. Like, really thick. It should not be able to exist at this... Okay, you're now a black hole. But you aren't actually pulling anything in. Like, you should be affecting the other ones. Like, come on. Look at the mass. Look... Oh, now it's now it's starting to turn them. Now, look at this. Data IRL. Now even the Nova Remnant is getting pulled in. Wow. Beautiful. The forces at play here are kind of ridiculous. Well, guys, we've learned a lot. Oh my god, why did that get thrown? Why did that get thrown at a speed? What speed is this moving at? What the heck? Why? Why is it going 41 light speed now? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Make sure to go on discord.gg slash bigvooper. Make sure to like subscribe to me. Yeah, that that stuff's important. You should do it. You'll you'll get a girlfriend and fifty dollars at some point in your life. If you're female, I well, maybe a boyfriend. I, well or I, I don't judge, you know? I, I don't judge. You can take the girlfriend or you can leave it.